1001 Questions and Answers on English Grammar by Benjamin Hathaway Pronouns 1. What is a pronoun? It is a word that stands for a noun. 2. What does the word mean? For a noun. It is the substitute for a noun. 3. What uses has a pronoun in a sentence? The same uses in general as nouns in making sentences. It may be subject, predicate of a sentence, may denote possession, and may be the object of a transitive verb or a preposition. 4. What is that for which the pronoun stands called? The antecedent. 5. What does this word signify? That which goes before. As the pronouns generally refer to something already mentioned, this term is well applied. 6. What inflections do pronouns undergo? Most of them change their form, for number and case, and some of them for person and gender also. 7. What is the inflection of a pronoun usually called? It is called declension. 8. Into what classes are pronouns divided? Name them. The best authorities divide them into four classes, personal, demonstrative, interrogative, and relative. There is besides another class of words that are really pronouns and are called indefinite pronouns. 9. Define a personal pronoun. It is one that shows by its form whether it denotes the speaker, the person spoken to, or the person spoken of. 10. Name the personal pronouns. I, thou, or you, he, she, and it, and their declined forms. 11. Decline the one of the first person. Singular, nominative I, possessive, my, or mine. Objective, me. Plural, nominative we, possessive our, objective us. 12. What subclasses have personal pronouns? 2. Simple and compound. 13. How are the compound personal pronouns formed? By adding self to the singular, and selves to the plural of the certain simple personal pronouns, as myself, yourself, himself, ourselves, themselves. 14. Define a relative pronoun. It is one that relates to some preceding noun or pronoun to which it joins a limiting clause. 15. In what important respect does the reflective differ from the other pronouns? It relates to its antecedent in a peculiar way. It represents it and joins to it a clause in the way of a description or limitation, as, the favor which you ask shall be granted. 16. Only in what kind of sentences can relatives be used, therefore? In complex sentences. 17. Into what subclasses are relative pronouns divided? 2. Simple and compound. 18. Name the simple relatives. Who, which, that, and as. 19. Name the compound relatives. Who, which, and what, with ever or soever, suffixed, and what in its simple form has a double use, as whoever, whosoever, whichever, whichsoever, etc. 20. What peculiarity has the relative what? It has a double use, being equivalent to that which, those which, and the thing which. 21. Who and which are applied to what? Who refers to persons only, or inanimate objects, personified, as he is a man who reads. O time, who waiteth not, teach us to be up and doing. Which is applied to animals and things, as the horse which ran away, the moss-covered bucket which hung in the well. 22. When is that a relative pronoun, and to what is it applied? When it meets the requirements of the definition, it is applied to both persons and things, as the head that wears a crown, one of the best men that ever lived. I that speak unto thee am he. 
repent the evil that ye have done. 23. What inflection has that? The relative that has no change of form. 24. When is as a relative pronoun, and to what applied? After same, such, as much, and as many, as is always a relative pronoun. It is applied to persons, animals, and things. As name such persons as you wish, etc. 25. How is the relative what applied? What differs from other relatives in that it combines in itself both antecedent and relative, and is equivalent to that which, or the thing which. Thus it is compound in meaning, though simple in form. It is not used to relate to persons, as what she says is true. I saw what they were doing, that which. 26. In what circumstances is the relative that preferred? 1. To avoid a repetition of who. 2. After the words all, very, and same. 3. After an adjective in the superlative degree. 27. Give illustrative sentences. Who that is here can deny the fact. All that wealth gave was sacrificed in an hour. The very one that you desire. The same that we have prized. The best man that ever lived. 28. Decline who. Singular and plural. Nominative who. Possessive whose. Objective whom. 29. What peculiarities of declension have other simple relatives? They retain the same form for the nominative and objective. 30. Decline which. Singular and plural. Nominative and objective. Which. Which. Possessive. Whose. Whose. 31. How are compound relatives declined? In the same manner as the relatives who, which, and what. 32. How is as declined? It has no possessive form, and the nominative form is used in the objective case. 33. Explain concerning the nature of demonstrative pronouns. There are only two such in English, this and that, with their plural forms, these and those. These words are usually adjectives, pointing out, directing attention to anything, as, this book is mine. When the noun is omitted, the adjective word performs its office as well as its own, and then becomes a pronoun. This is mine. 34. Distinguish between the use of this and that. This, with its plural these, is used to signify, both as pronoun and adjective, something relatively near, that and those to denote something further off. 35. Decline an interrogative pronoun. It is a pronoun used to ask a question or to make an interrogative sentence. 36. Name the interrogative pronouns and illustrate their use. They are who, which, and what. Who comes here? Which is your hat? What does he wish? With whose consent did he do so? 37. What is the usual place of the interrogative in a sentence? As near the beginning of the sentence as possible. 38. What is the antecedent of an interrogative pronoun? The answer to the question. 39. What inflections have interrogative pronouns? Who is used without any change of form for number, but it has three case forms, nominative who, possessive whose, objective whom. The others have no forms of declension and are used only in the nominative and objective. 40. To what other interrogative use is which sometimes put? When in an interrogative use it designates a particular object, it is an adjective. As which lesson did you learn? 41. Name the various ways in which the word that may be used. As an adjective, by that sin the angels fail. As a pronominal adjective, such a man as that will win. As a relative pronoun, the best father that ever blessed a son. 
as a conjunction. He tells me that he is satisfied. 42. What is the case of different pronouns for the same antecedent? Avoid the use of different pronouns for the same antecedent in the same sentence, as this is the man that had a fortune, and who, that, went to Europe. 43. Explain the use of who in the following. I do not know who it is. This sentence is an evident reply to the sentence, who is it? And the who still remains an interrogative pronoun, having an unknown antecedent. End of section 7.